Yeah, I mean, you know, we didn't have tons of rehearsal time together. We kind of just, you know, went up on set and did it. And I feel like, you know, I think uh, what was so special about the relationship that, that we all kind of talked about, I guess, is the fact that um, Robert is the only guy in her life that doesn't treat her like a piece of meat. You know, he's the only guy that doesn't check her out up and, up and down the minute she walks in a room. He's, you know, he's the only guy that actually asks her how she is, how she's doing, how's her day, you know what I mean? And they have real conversations, even if it's just like, you know, how's your book? And it, uh, that means more to her than, than anything. And so I think uh, her demeanor obviously kind of took that on and the fact that she didn't feel like she had to, you know, put herself on. And every time she opens that diner door, she, you know, she puts herself on, she pulls her bra up, she pulls her shirt down, you know, she, she puts on what everyone thinks she is. I actually went to this organization that Antoine sent me to called the Children of the Night, and I met a lot of girls who were actually put in this situation and, and have been taken out of it and are uh, kind of figuring their life out now and, and getting educated. And, and um, a lot of them had this thing where they wouldn't really look you in the eye at all, really, and they would kind of just walk, wow. you know, when they would talk about what happened to them and they would tell you these stories, they would just kind of be real drifty and real real shifty. But then when, when you would kind of connect with them, then they would actually kind of grant you with their look. And it meant so much to see that. And they kind of let you in and you understand that that doesn't happen very much. And we wanted to make that really poignant. And that's when she comes over to his table and she has a conversation with him. It's a huge moment because she, she doesn't do that. And I don't think he does that either. And they both kind of lock eyes on each other, and they they barely say any words in that scene. But there's so much context just in the emotions they're sharing through their eyes. Chloe. <laughs> <clears throat> um, yeah. I mean, I don't know. For me, I mean, I guess, you know, I think it's like when I was when I was like six years old, and I was having to cry in movies. And when you're six years old and you're crying in movies, you're thinking about like your, you know, your pet dying and stuff. And there's a moment where like you know. Uh, you kind of ask your mom, and you're like, "Wait, my my pet's okay, right? Like, I'm just making sure, like, it's we're good here, right?" And that, you know, when it when it when you start to kind of believe the the kind of emotions you're telling yourself to make you feel a certain way is is when you need to kind of step away, I think. And you know, sometimes it's good for it to to kind of affect you personally. Sometimes it's okay to to kind of sink it in and understand it, and 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 have your your own emotions kind of uh, become, in, you know, entwined with your characters because that's how you really understand it. But, um, you know, you, you need to have that time to yourself when you go home and you don't, you know, you, you aren't Alina, you aren't Terry, you know, it, it's just a job. You can just have some cereal and watch Real Housewives of Atlanta. Uh, we, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds pretty good, actually. Hey, I like the sound I of like that. Nini. We shot it kind of chronologically inside the diner, I think, pretty wow. much, and uh, it was great. I mean, it was, it was, you know, like they said, you don't really know your character, and I think Alina was someone that, I think it helped for me at least, because Alina, I don't think she really knew who she was on that first day in the diner. She's, she, she's really lost. She's the most kind of drugged up she's ever been. She's, she's real out of it, and uh, it really worked for me. I think that day is the day I ate a pie, a whole pie and a half. After every take, I had I think we finished a whole pie with whipped cream, with whipped cream and and uh, buckets of coffee. Of pie, not the whole pie. No, no, no. By the end of the day, oh, I had oh, eaten no. so pie. many slices. Yeah. It was about a pie and like a quarter. Yeah, she was eating a lot. Yeah. Of pie, yeah, yeah. So it was a great first day. <laughs> <laughs>